Hey guys, and welcome back to Do It On A Dime. Today's video is a kitchen organization video with products from Dollar Tree you can actually find. <laughs> You guys remember my friend Shauna. I've done a few videos with her now and she is so much fun. <laughs> Perfect. And she recently painted her kitchen. This was the before and after she painted it a beautiful bright white. Such an inexpensive way to update your kitchen. But she was not happy with her pantry or snack section of the cabinet. And she wanted to have a system that was easy to maintain, inexpensive to put together and something her family would actually be able to use. So first we went to Dollar Tree to find everything that we needed. I'm not gonna lie, we got a little bit distracted. This is Shauna's first time in Dollar Tree. She's never been before. She's so excited. <laughs> Look at these, they're only a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> they have these, I'm so excited. These are awesome. I'll just buy them all. <laughs> This process didn't take long at all. We took everything out, assessed what she had, and when we put it back, it's super clear where things go. You need minimal labeling, and this is actually gonna be a system her family can keep up with. My first tip was to get the snapping snack lids. Now the ones that are purple with the snaps, those are the best ones to buy and it was perfect for all of those snacks. They're clear so she doesn't have to label them and they're really easy for the kids to get and put back so the cabinet doesn't look so cluttered. I just wanna show you guys this. Look at how many boxes we are getting rid of. All of this paper product that can be recycled. This is freeing up so much room in her cabinet. The next thing we did was totally free, which is move all of the items up to the top that are unopened, so it's really easy to be able to find them. Two of my favorite products that they always have are the locker style white bins and the white baskets with holes. They fit really well inside of cabinetry, help define your spaces, but allow you to still take them out super easily. She actually had a drawer underneath of her oven and we put those Dollar Tree locker style bins in with a little bit of sticky tack on the bottom so they wouldn't move around. And this makes the perfect snack drawer. Her kids can easily go and access what they need and it stays organized. Get rid of all of that packaging. Your kitchen organization doesn't have to be conventional, it just has to work. cabinet we decided to keep all of the family's drinks in there they were scattered all throughout the house but now they're all in one place and if you feel like it's too much work to take things out of packaging and like organized stuff no one has time for this a really awesome tip is to open both ends of a box and push your hand through the box everything's gonna come out nice clean and perfectly organized and you didn't have to do any extra work or like arranging because no, nobody has time for this she also has a really great corral basket on the countertop and it got super full after her kitchen renovation. So we went through and put everything away where it needed to go and now she can start from ground zero and it's super clean and organized. you definitely leave it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you want to see more of Shauna's kitchen. I told her I'd come over and help her organize some of the drawers and seriously just seeing her white kitchen makes me want a white kitchen so much. I feel like I would totally mess up the paint job but does hers not look so beautiful? I will catch you guys in the next video. Subscribe and turn those notifications on so I can see you there. Bye!